Yes, good morning and welcome. Thursday the 22nd of October. I'm Ray Hadley. Great to have your company on 2GB, 4BC and to listeners across the Macquarie and national regions. I'll be back with the weather shortly. Now, an update on Uber. This has just been released by the New South Wales Department of Transport and Police in Queensland. Roads and Maritime Services have revoked the licences of 40 drivers, that's 4-0, driving in Queensland in Uber without a permit. Now, Uber have already racked up thousands of dollars in fines, but in the past, Uber have, al- have always paid the fines. But now New South Wales is saying, we're taking the cars off the road. Now, Uber have always said, No, no, boys and girls, you keep driving, we'll pay the fines. But now, in New South Wales, the cars are taken off the road. Now, I know I'm going to get a whole bunch of emails coming in saying, Uber does a fantastic service, they provide a wonderful service. Now, I'm happy for Uber, pardon me, to be involved and to make it easier for the public to catch taxi cabs and use transport. But it must be legal. Now, I know there are some taxi companies that already provide this service. They have the Uber app and you can log on and you can use a driver who's licensed and permitted and we can have no problem with that. But you can't have Joe Bloggs or Root McGluck jumping behind the wheel of a car and pretending he's a taxi driver. I mean, it's just insane. It's bordering on bizarre. I'd love to hire a bus and take a few hundred people down the M4 on a Saturday night. It's not legal. Oh, you say, oh, I'd love to do 140 down the M1 motorway. That's not legal either.